Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Tesla is reportedly looking to build a battery plant in the United States using technology from China's contemporary Amperex technology, CATL, for lithium iron phosphate, LFP, cells. According to people familiar with the matter cited by Bloomberg, Tesla discussed plans involving the Chinese firm with the White House in recent days. The report claims Tesla wants to pursue a deal similar to one that Ford Motor Company announced last month with CATL in Michigan, namely to construct a plant wholly owned by the U.S. automaker with technology licensed from the Chinese company. According to some of the sources, Tesla is considering building the battery plant in Austin, Texas to supply its EV assembly plant there. However, a location hasn't been finalized. Locating the LFP cell plant in Austin would allow Tesla to equip the Model Y with U.S.-made LFP batteries. LFP batteries use a chemistry that is cheaper than the nickel-based batteries used by Western automakers especially for their long-range models. Tesla already offers an LFP battery pack in the U.S. on the base model 3RWD, but the cells are imported from China, which is the main reason why Tesla's cheapest model will lose full eligibility for federal tax credits starting April 1st. That said, the planned arrangement with CATL would likely be controversial seen as one of the main goals of the subsidies instated by the Inflation Reduction Act is to reduce dependence on China when it comes to the production and processing of battery materials by incentivizing a U.S.-based supply. The auto industry has been lobbying to influence how the U.S. Treasury Department will interpret requirements in the Inflation Reduction Act. One specific clause that automakers have focused on is 30D, which is designed to withhold consumer tax credits for electric vehicles made with a certain amount of China-linked materials in their batteries. Ford's deal with CATL has drawn criticism from lawmakers including Democratic Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia and Republican Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, who argued that it allows the Chinese company to benefit from U.S. subsidies. However, Ford has said CATL wouldn't get any U.S. tax dollars from the deal. As with Ford, Tesla is expected to get some political pushback as well to a deal with CATL, which is probably why the automaker is discussing the plans with the White House first. Tesla is using the $22 billion in cash it had available at the end of Q4 2022 to expand production and lower costs as it faces increased competition from legacy automakers and EV startups in global markets. Thanks for watching. Please like my video and subscribe EVpedia for more electronic vehicle news and updates.